Now, just because the springs didn't get a lot of snow today, that doesn't mean there's little for snow plow drivers to do. In some ways, they're busier than they would be with heavy snow. Cardio News Channel 13's Scott Harrison shows us that he rode along with the plow driver this morning. New at noon, he's live on the City Streets Division office near Platte and Wooten. Good afternoon, Scott. Hi, Brittany. Well, as you mentioned, there wasn't a lot of snow worth plowing in most of the springs, but streets still needed that liquid de-icer and that anti-skid material, that mixture of sand and salt, to keep the streets from freezing up. And fortunately, many trucks in the springs fleet can do both of those jobs at the same time. Let's show you some video now to kind of explain what we meet. We rode along with one of the plow drivers this morning, his name Robert Avila, a 15-year veteran. His route covers South Academy and Proby Parkway to the airport. He treats the entire pavement on every trip to make sure it doesn't freeze and to give drivers the traction they need. What's the most important skill you need to have to be in the uh, Being alert of what's around you and watching other drivers and uh, making sure that, uh, that you're doing it safely. And safety is the key with everything that they do, of course. Now, Avila says drivers receive yearly training, but much of the job relies on instinct, knowing where and when to apply material and how much to apply. And these drivers didn't get much of a holiday break. They were on standby yesterday. They worked 10 to 12 hour shifts today, and then they'll get to go home and maybe come back tomorrow. We've seen some drivers already, though, going home for the day. We're live in the spring. Scott Harrison, KRDO News Channel 13.